this time on my Vehicle History channel, on the day that Lewis Hamilton won the British Grand Prix, I thought I'd do a subject very close to my heart. I've wanted to go to Dunkirk for many years. Paddle steamers brought many hundreds of men back. Paddle steamers at Dunkirk, 1940, of a few of them ships. Unfortunately, they weren't all as lucky as the Medway Queen. Royal Eagle an anti-aircraft vessel from the Thames flotilla, Royal Eagle, was the largest paddler present at Dunkirk and came under her attack on 43 occasions whilst making three return crossings, first sailing to Ramsgate and then on landing more than a thousand men, including seriously wounded at its Sheerness base on May the 31st, resumed Thames patrols for the remainder of the war. Official record... 2,657 men landed. My favourite next, Sandown. As senior officer's vessel Sandown led the 10th flotilla to Dunkirk on the 27th of May and again next day subsequently sailing independently. Whilst returning to France on June the 1st, the Sandown was used. Its motorboat to take 250 men off a grounded drafter. Rearmed for anti-aircraft duties, Sandown supported the Normandy landings. Official record 1,861 men landed. Thames Queen, another vessel popularly believed to have been involved in at least the early stages of the evacuation despite the lack of any references in the official records, Thames Queen was certainly at Dover before the start of Operation Dynamo and it is claimed to have sailed as part of the 10th Flotilla on the 27th of May. Next, one of my all-time favourite paddle steamers, the Waverley. After taking in stores and fuel at Great Yarmouth, Waverley recovered orders to Dunkirk from an MBT motor torpedo boat in the Thames estuary. Arriving off Lopani on the 29th of May, the vessel landed an estimated 600 men under her attack and was heading for home when struck by three bombs in quick succession and had to be abandoned. Westwood Ho! By the time Westwood Ho arrived from the 4th, the evacuation was well underway. The steamer made two crossings and possibly a third. Troops landed at Margate, including one large French contingent. Westwood Hall resumed mine sweeping until boiler trouble resulted in it being used as an accommodation ship at Dartford. Official record 1,686 men landed.